there. Take your time, Sprout. It's not every day you wake up in a new dimension. There you go. You'll get the hang of it in no time. So, I guess we've got a lot to discuss. Who... who are you? I'm... I'm Polly. Actually, you're Harmony for us over here. I'm Bliss. This world is Reverie. And it's in big trouble. What? Both my world and yours are on the brink of collapse. Not pillaged and plundered by an invading army or something cool like that. No, this is ugly. Bad news. Collapsing from within, you know? Wait, slow down, please. I was just in my mother's room and I picked up this necklace and... See this? Don't look at it for too long, Sprout. It'll bum you out. It's... incredible. And yet, it's fragile. More than it has ever been. I know who you are. And I know you have to touch the heart of Reverie. Touch it! Touch it and see the future! What the...? You're connected to Reverie now. You'll be able to travel between our world and yours. What do you mean, travel? I have so many questions. Looks like you're searching for your mother. This will point you in the right direction. Introducing the Augural, an amazing tool you can use to strategize and plan out the future. Uh, how do I use it? See for yourself, Sprout. The Orgrul allows you to see the future. That's this board, you know? Before today, time was linear for you. From now on, well, it dances to your tune. It's incredible. How? How come I can do that? I'm an aspiration. Me and my friends need a heart to exist. But our heart is... weak. And you... You're special, Sprout. You can help us. You can save us all! Let's start with something easy. Truth or death? Dare. Dare. Show me the cutest picture of you. <laughs> cutest? Uh, I guess I can do that.
OMG, Harmony, you're the cutest! You're a natural. Look at you traveling between Bristle and Reverie like it's nothing. Isn't it dangerous? Seeing the future. Bathing in what's to come or what's happened before is always dangerous. Melancholy is a powerful emotion. And this place is... What just happened? You made a choice. What rippled forward from it was unique and new. Take your time to understand what all this implies. New powers can take a bit of getting used to, you know? You just need to focus. Stay in the present. The memories felt... more real. You asked, right? Isn't it dangerous to blah blah and all that? Well, duh. Yeah, of course it's dangerous to live in a time that's not yours. Simple fact. And that's why you need to focus. Feet on the ground, eyes ahead, deep breath, and look into the future. What do you see? What do you feel? I sense... a new being. A new force. It's getting closer. That, I believe, would be me. I am power. An aspiration like our minuscule bliss over there. No offense, bliss. None taken. I'd prefer the term fun-sized. You must be Harmony. You have seen how weak our heart is. It won't last long. Great changes would come to pass. You might even call them... cataclysmic. But... what can I do? I'm just looking for my mother. You now know that chance does not exist. The futures laid out before you will force your hand. They will require you to make choices. Choices that are ruthless, difficult, even painful. Choose wisely, follow your objective, and your diligence will be rewarded with a valuable resource. Ah, uh, knew I forgot something. There's this energy called a Gregor, right? It's basically how we exist in your world. It kind of tastes like... You know that blue soda? Egregor is rare and powerful. It is not to be drunk. 
Some choices you make will generate Egregor and bind us together. Use it wisely. What? What are you expecting from me? Ah, uh, you got it. I can tell because your mind's gone all hard. Difficult to hear. We have much more to tell you, but a good leader knows what to reveal and what to leave unsaid. For now, of course. The key is your mother, Harmony. Her disappearance must be linked with what happened here. Some of our number are lost. Scattered. And we work better if we're a team. But that's for later. Right now, the priority is your mother. Exactly. We must find her. Or else... Your heart will get weaker? Find your mother. Explore the futures. Is that it? Holly? Holly! You're here! Nora! Come here! How are you? Good! I mean... Fine. Considering what's going on. It's okay. We'll find her. I know we will. So much has happened. Tell me. Hold on, I need some coffee. It's keeping my brain from rotting. And yeah, Grandpa's gone through all five stages of grief, though for a while I thought he was stuck on denial. <sighs> Nothing beats a really cheap, super strong coffee. Can she see you? Oh, no. No, no, you're fine. Just don't start talking to yourself. Weirds people out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm talking so much. I can't believe it's the first time you've been back in years. Yeah, it's... you know. Oh, 
I know. Things were difficult with Ursula. But she... She'd been different lately. We had a fight before she went missing. Ursula was upset with you. Have you heard about all the job openings at MK? The city's getting more expensive by the minute, and the pay's good, and it's interesting work, I guess. Did I mention the pay? Because Paul, we're barely getting by here. And there's this school I'd like to go to, a rather expensive school, but Ursula felt I was betraying myself and we had a fight and I had to sleep at a friend's place for a couple of days. That bad? I just needed some space, some air. I know MK isn't perfect, but I can't live here forever. No way I can move out without a job. What do you think? Do it, Harmony. But she'll be disappointed, and... You are about to tell her what she needs to hear, not what she wants to hear. Maybe it's just me. But... I can't picture you in a monoconzern uniform. I know. I know. But the pay is... It would change a lot for me. No, you're right. It's... It's not a good idea. They've been increasing security all over the island. MK is everywhere these days. Hard to avoid. And I know I won't change anything by myself, but... You cannot take back your words. Moving forward is the only way to travel this road, Harmony. You did well. Uh, sorry, it was... No, it was a bad idea. Can I have a hug? You know I didn't mean to make you feel guilty, right? I know. Don't worry. I'm tough. On the inside. Of course you are. This is good. The hug, I mean. <laughs> it is. Come on. I guess we should go find Laszlo. Yeah. I could do with a drink. You have chosen well thus far. Is this your... your realm? Indeed. A place of strength, of fortitude.
But a realm implies a kingdom, a title, a crown. We aspirations are neither kings nor queens nor anything in between. Neither deities nor demigods. We simply are. Aspirations are intrinsically linked to your world and your kind. Have you always been here? Always. Since the dawn of your kind. Since your first dream, your first wish, your first complex thought. <laughs> it must come as a shock to lose the luxury of your ignorance. Do we... elect you? The same way a river elects the sea into which it flows. You sense that we aspirations are much more than we appear. We give off an energy that is neither good nor bad harmony. Like gods. Gods are invented, and inventions can be killed. No. No. We are much more greater than gods. But our strength is limited to this place. We need a firm hand to restore our world. And my world too, right? True. Use the Orgrel. Explore your future. Establish and assert your own will. Follow my path and we can change the world. Our, because whatever is about to come, dear Harmony, even I cannot predict what it will be. you sorry this is all this is a lot are you real is any of this real or am I having some sort of waking nightmare first thanks nightmare indeed second it's very real sprout I just need a minute it's okay really we're really impressed by everything you've done so far. Soon, you'll be able to see even further on the Orgoral. How far ahead? Depends on your choices. On who you side with. On what happens. I... I can tell you don't exactly trust me. Even if I can't read your mind anymore. You mentioned my mother. As soon as I stepped into all this, you knew. And you wanted me to find her. What's going on with her? Do you know Ashula? Ashula was here before. In your shoes. In this place. Wearing this necklace. And she tried to do everything you've been doing today, and... She failed. She wasn't the right person. Why? I can't tell you directly. Whatever happened, it broke us. It almost ruined Reverie. And we forgot. Our minds, our bodies were twisted and erased.
We need your help. And you need ours. There's an aspiration called truth. They know a lot. I mean, of course. If you could find a way to save them, it would mean the world to us. I know it's unfair to ask you to go out there without any more information. It'll be okay. I understand the stakes. And... I'll do my best. I came out here for like two hours last week. I believe it. They suck you in, don't they? Especially when the sea is calm and you can see them reflected down there. <laughs> All right. Time to rip off the bandage. Let's go see Laszlo. I'll be at your side. I know you will. You haven't seen him the last few days? Full on denial. It's killing me to see him like this. Sounds rough. But we'll find a way, right? Even if we have to outdrink him with his own imported beers. They are so expensive. And I'm broke, just so you know. Greetings. Oh, uh, did I startle you? Where am I? Who are you? Another aspiration. Exactly. I'm Bond. My siblings keep forgetting about me. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. No. I guess I'm getting used to it. I feel... at home. Somehow. Naturally. My path is one of community, friendship, and empathy. My mangrove forest is a place of warmth and safety. And I am an excellent host. The journey before you, Harmony, is one with many roads and even more destinations. I am here to guide you towards those that lead to understanding, not conflict. I know this won't be as simple as that. Unfortunately. Oh, you mean your mother. 
I know you will find a way to uh, see eye to eye with her. I don't wish to keep you. Before you go, I have but one piece of advice. Remain mindful of others. Then your journey may be one of discovery, not destruction. Turns out he wasn't even talking to me. Can you believe it? What an idiot. Well, we're here. Polly, you're here. I'm so glad you're finally here. My word, it's good to see you, Polly. You look like a strong breeze would knock you over. Are you eating? Here, look, I've got snacks behind the bar. Here we go, a Polly special on the house. Ooh, right down memory lane. Wait, wait, I forgot something. Don't move. Nora tell you about the storm a while back? I've seen pictures. How bad was it? Bit of flooding around the island, but the walls held and the roof barely leaked at home. Nora helped board up the bar. <laughs> we had a good laugh at all the drowned drones the next day. Spotted some MK folks trying to scoop them up before they floated out to sea. Competitive drone fishing. <laughs> the sport where nobody wins. Okay, here's the plan. We have to get his guard down, or he'll stay like this forever. And that's no good for anyone. So, it's time for some bar work. What? Just follow my lead. Come on, move over. What are you two up to? Tending bar. Judging from the state of this place, you can use all the help you can get. Well, the place is looking a little untidy, I suppose. A bit busy, you know? Looks like a bomb's gone off, Grandpa. The nerves on this girl. 
I love you too. To admit, it's a little strange. Mm -hmm. Being back here on a Tina. Funny how a place can change so much while staying the same. Oh, absolutely. in that wind in a long time coming <laughs> sounds ridiculous doesn't it but you live in a place long enough you know not ridiculous not at all Ursula she was <laughs> part of it Something bigger, something I couldn't see. Scares me a bit, sure. But you can't hold off change forever. Glad you're back, Polly. We're going to find her. We have to. MK's pressuring us. They want the Naiads. Or... They want the land, especially. Oh, they don't care about that old building of ours. They want to build a mall or something, I don't know. And we're running dry. But, well... been a day definitely a day tomorrow's creeping up on us already Why don't we grab a drink with your friends over there, Laszlo? Oh, uh, sure. Um, I need to come clean, folks. 
Ursula's been gone for a few days. She's disappeared. I... I feel responsible. And I'm sorry if... You know, I hurt you. The truth is, I knew it was coming. That something was coming, at least. Things have felt off for weeks. At home, here, a feeling in the air. Again, um, sorry to all of you. Nora, most of all. Sorry. I, I, I just. It, it's hard. I didn't want anyone else to bear the burden. Are you sure you saw it in here? Yes, it was by the sink. I was listening to my podcast. Researching about the Oxions, are you? I'm sure there's a connection between them uh, and Ursula and... Oh! Morning, sleepyhead. How are you two this awake already? Already? It's nearly lunch. Grandpa, tell her! Tell me what? No, you do it. We have a lead! On Ursula. What's happening? Spill! Last night, one of my friends reminded me about... a girl at the Nyads. She came to meet with Ursula. Several times, in fact. I asked who she was, and your mother said she was a journalist, interested in publishing some of her poems. Which is weird. Nobody publishes poetry nowadays. Uh, I have to admit that Ursula hasn't sold a single text in decades. Anyway, I didn't push it. Assumed your mother would tell me the truth when she was ready. But then... Anyway, I mentioned this girl to my regulars. She's not the sort of person you forget easily. 
So, Jack thought he recognized the description, and this morning... He dropped this off. Well, show her. Second page, editor's column. Jade. Ooh, that's her. I think she's quite famous around here. Badass type. Sounds like she's got a new fan. Jack also told us the printer's address. Might be a good start. We've got some mutuals in common too. Maybe we could hit them up instead. They'll know how to contact her for sure. Friends first. Yes, yes, great, perfect. Come on, I know where they hang out. Are they your friends as well? Mm, no, not really. We have mutual friends and some similar interests. Weird, huh? What's weird? The fact that Nora is an individual person now. Not just a little kid. She has friends and places where she hangs out. Ah, oh, that feeling. A part of me is sad because I feel terribly old. But the rest of me is happy to see that Nora is her own human being now. A human being who can make mistakes. Yeah. And like every other human being, she can fix them. So, they're a bit suspicious. I'm not sure about how to, not what to do about that. Be yourself. Show them what you think of her. That's gonna look even more suspicious, don't you think? So tell them why we're here. She's a good kid. She is. It went well then. They are so cool. <laughs> and I just went and just talked to them about Jade Galea. <laughs> yeah, went well. They even told me where Jade was. The skate park. That's her spot. Good job, Nora. Oh, I, I didn't do anything much. So, next stop, the skate park. You seem like you're enjoying this as much as I am. Come on. You don't think it was here for us? Polly. It was just a patrol. You've been gone a while. Things aren't like they used to be. Rule 
rule number one on Atina. Never say anything around a drone you wouldn't want recorded. Damn, things are everywhere these days. City sounds like a giant beehive. Monoconzern owns this island, or they will. Control of everything, public services, advertising, even security. It's all theirs now. Well then, might they have something to do with how Jade's suddenly keeping a low profile? Her friends don't think so. They said something about some personal issues. Nothing specific, though. Personal issues. Hmm. Well, these days, that could mean a lot. Money, relationships, politics. It's too vague. Nothing to work with. You ask me, though, that damn company's involved somehow. They always are when things go tits up. Jade seems to be well-known, respected even. No way they don't know about her. To be as young as her, carrying all that weight? I'd probably want to escape the limelight from time to time, too. Imagine either. What about Ursula? Do you think MK is interested in her too? I can't see why they would be. What, what would they want with a poet? What if? What if they weren't interested in her? What if she was with them? Hmm. She would have said something. Or... Well... Or not, if it was risky for us. I don't like where this is going, but... First, the skate park. With it then? Posters. Posters? Of Ursula? Exactly. Look, your mother may not be the best known woman on this island, but she has connections. Hell, the Nyads is basically a community center, and, and everyone at the bar knows her. We get her face up everywhere, tell people to contact us. We're bound to get something back. And if we do find this Jade, well, we could run an ad in that magazine of hers. Use her network to spread the word even further. Exactly. That sounds like a pretty good way to piss off MK. Yeah. But Jade's our best chance. If we get close to her, we get closer to MK as well. No! Ugh. Can you 
try to wrap it up before I rage quit this game. Also, you didn't hear this from me, but Power's getting all ceremonial about the truth situation. My name's Polly. This is Laszlo and Nora. Hey. I believe... I think you know my mother. Ursula? From the Nyads? Your mum, is she? Funny how we studied her poetry at school. But uni, even. <laughs> you have no idea. We wanted to speak to you because... We thought you could help us with... She vanished, my mother a few days ago, and we thought maybe you could help. I'm sorry to hear that. We wondered if anything you could tell us, anything at all. That would mean the world to us. When does she disappear, exactly? What was she like the day before? Was she acting strange? Um, look, I'm sorry to press you on this. I really am. But we really need to know if you two were planning anything beyond the poetry. Did she mention anything about a meeting with someone you'd never heard of? Was anything missing with her? A suitcase? Clothing? Money?
fine. I was doing another investigation into MK, and Ursula was helping. We believe the company was dipping its toes into medical care or Republic Health program. A couple of neighborhood kids said an MK agent offered them coupons and free samples. Said it was to test a new product line. They call it Egregore. They claimed it was going to help with exams, stress, clarity of mind and all that. That's all I know. Wait. You contacted my mother because of her work on the Oxiums, on the history of Atina, right? I only found her stuff by chance. Sounds like MK tried to have it burned, but a few copies survived. That was the only other reference to Egregore I ever found. for days. We heard you might be the sort of person who'd want to help, help when people are lost, but you're just digging for details. Is the story all you care about? We don't need that. Come on, Paul. If she's not gonna help us, we'll find someone who will. I shouldn't have gotten so hyped. But who you are, what you do, you, you seem to be doing so much good around here. I really don't have words for it, so I thought, but I, I understand I'm in no position to ask for more. Let's go. Nora. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to, oh, hell, I'm, it's okay. It is. Don't worry about it. The last few days, they've been a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. The last few months, even. Harder than anything I could ever imagine. I'm sorry. Really. I... That was rude of me. Disrespectful. Not my intention. No, please. It's all right. Really. I've spent the last weeks, months actually, digging into MK's plan for this place and I just can't take it anymore. They own everything. The systems, the records, the security. They roll over the vulnerable and suck up every resource they can. It's heinous. It's unfair. And I can't do anything to stop it. And no one gives a shit. 
Feels like it's just me out here sometimes, you know? And I know that's not true, but it feels like it. I have people with me, sure. Friends, comrades, but... But it never stops. Now Ursula and... Yeah. Yeah, it's all gotten a little much. I'm sorry too. Guess I didn't realize I was so angry about everything. I... I think I'd feel the same in your shoes. <sighs> Thanks. I... It's just like... I'd like to help if I can. I don't know if I'm good for anything at the moment. Burnout's a hell of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I'll hit up my network. Are you sure? Yeah. It's still risky, but it's not like shouting the search from the rooftops. No offense. I'm taken. If MK Cotton's on, we've got a better chance of containing it if we know who knows what. It's our best option, for sure. It's not easy for someone to go missing on this island. Everyone knows everyone and everything. Alma's a small world, a tight-knit community. You'll find her. Problem is, you've got MK between where you are now and where you want to be. No way you're avoiding a tussle. it before but um i think i was approached by those mk goons you mentioned the um public health project guys shit egregore and everything yeah listen you didn't ask for it but here's my advice you see them coming again you run or tell them to fuck off or scream at them or whatever but do not take their money nora I'm serious. No, yeah, I, mean, I, I wasn't going to. I've heard rumours. People who came back the very opposite of healthy. And ones who never came back at all. There have been other disappearances? Hard to tell. People go missing all the time. Especially the ones society pushes to its edge. Sometimes they just move on. Change cities. There are rarely any records. But recently, a lot more people than normal have gone away. And most haven't come back. But the ones who did come back? Said they were given this egregore stuff. Pills or injections. And that was it. Some got sick, others were fine. But no clarity of mind business. Bear that burden you shall. You must.
someone's been busy. Well, guess what? We've been busy too. You're not the only bunch investigating. Bond and Power and I have news. Truth still clings to life. But they are beyond our reach alone. Even our own ties have been severed. But we are close. So very close. Our world does not cease to be when you are not viewing it. It is imperative that you stabilize your home front quickly so that you may assist us in reverie. Do... We know. So, here's the plan. We can clear the way to Truth Sanctuary, but after that, we'll have to summon you. Be ready. Welcome to the Domain of Truth. Oh, someone worked hard to keep us from entering. Uh, but together, Power and I, we found a way inside. Come, let's get this over with. Come, Power. Let us proceed. Agreed. It's working. Keep your distance. This may be... I am truth. I am the eye that sees, the unveiled, the watcher in the dark. And I am whole once more, thanks to you, Harmony. You're welcome. But please, my mother, Ursula Beauclair, do you know where she is? My memories remain out of reach, shattered like my cell. Although I cannot tell you where your mother may be, I do know her fate is entwined with that of Chaos. And that it was Chaos who incapacitated me. The 
This is outrageous. We have tolerated this charlatan's exploits for far too long. I've told you before, chaos would be the death of us. Always scheming and plotting against their own kin. They may have a maze, but I have an army. I'll flush him out in no time. I don't like the sound of that at all. No. Such violence would only widen the rift that already threatens to tear Reverie apart. Right? We need to listen to each other, please. Harmony, our kin Chaos retreated to their endless maze shortly after Truth disappeared. Now we know why. That maze? Is it impenetrable? It's a labyrinth of trickery and tomfoolery built by a coward. I'd go in there myself, only... Only we cannot enter an Aspiration's domain without being invited. And that charlatan will never let us in. They will refuse to fight face to face. That's enough. Chaos may be unbound, but the secret to their return is consensus, not division. Bond is correct. War is an engine of strife and in direct opposition to our needs. And may I remind you we have other matters to attend to. Our realm lies in tatters, a shadow of itself. Glory refuses reason at every turn. We must decide where our attention is most required. I have to find my mother, for the sake of my own family. I... I hope you understand. Certainly. It is the logical choice. But I would suggest that a search for Chaos and a search for Ursula may well be one and the same. I don't understand. Why would they be linked? What aren't you... I may have a mutually beneficial solution. May. As I say, my memory remains treacherous. Go home. Await the coming of tomorrow. And we will see if fate guides us true. Fate? Fate is an easy word to throw around. I... I'll wait for tomorrow. I am pleased. Well, that was a pretty mess, wasn't it? Chaos. I don't understand. Bond said you were hiding, so how are you here? Now? Hiding? <laughs> I'm not hiding. I'm out here relaxing. Taking a load off. Escaping the rat race. You've seen the others. Can you blame me? Doesn't mean I can't talk to you, though, you lucky thing. But why? Why won't you work with them, then? Because they've got it all wrong, you see? I am chaos. As much as truth is truth and power is power, they aren't just names, my dear. I'm not hiding from you. I'm just in a place that requires effort to reach. Live your life by my name. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>